Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create a, this dashboard the UI design from scratch using Figma. Now, I also want to remind you that I recently launched a Figma course. So if you want to bring your Figma design skills to the next level, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into a tutorial. So we're back in Figma and the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the frame and we're going to go under desktop and select the 1440 pixels of width desktop. And we're also going to simply left click it two times and we're going to rename this to one in order to rename the frame. Now let's get started with the very top section, which is going to be the header. And we're going to make this darker from the start. And we're probably going to go with a very dark um, solution, uh, dark, very dark color, more heading towards these uh, um, almost like bluish tint and uh, we're going to go ahead and start writing uh, some text for the main uh, logo and uh, it's going to be shop.io just came up with uh, a random name probably it exists I don't know haven't even checked but uh, let's just uh, go ahead and uh, let's write uh, this in here. This is going to serve us as uh, the main logo. Now the .io, I just want to create some different uh, visual emphasis for this uh, specific uh, text. And it's going to be around uh, um, this color. Maybe just a little bit more towards the green. And uh, here we go. All right, so we have our main uh, logo, I'd say. Now let's uh, also lock this one right here. I'm going to write search. Let's make it white. Oops. Select all of it, make it white. We're going to make it uh, way smaller. A size of 15 uh, could work well. And uh, we're going to keep it uh, medium. Now let's create uh, a rectangle on top of it, which is going to help us uh, create uh, the very search bar so i'm going to make the stroke all white let's bring it up just a little bit round it up those corners and uh, here we go um let's make it uh, 50 percent of opacity since uh, it's going to be easier and uh, we're also going to <coughs> to add sorry a <laughs> search bar search icon and uh, we're going to go with this one here all right and some frame all of this and let's bring it here let's make it 50% since you don't want uh, as much uh, visual emphasis uh, on uh, this element as well all right so far so good Let's select all of it. Let's center it uh, since this is going to be the main uh, search uh, bar. And uh, we're also going to simply go ahead and uh, add uh, a message. And uh, let's go back here. Let's write message. And we're going to basically find an outline. And by the way, this is uh, a dashboard which uh, I got from an inspiration from uh, a kit called Shopper which recently launched uh, on uh, UI8 uh, and uh, you can easily find it uh, um, over there. Uh, you can check out the entire UI kit uh, if you're interested in that. And uh, now let's uh, move on uh, and let's continue by adding these uh, two icons and uh, we're going to essentially um, Add them right here, bring it to the center, and then uh, move them uh, right uh, on the side. All right, perfect. So <clears throat> let's bring it here. Let's write uh, sign in uh, on this button. All right, so far so good. Let's bring it to the right. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. All 
let's make it full opacity and then let's bring these icons right here now let's also add uh, a oval which is going to serve uh, as a notification element we're going to just keep it like this for both of these elements of these icons let's bring it a little bit on the left and here we go all right so far so good now i'm going to create uh, a layout grid <coughs> and uh, specifically uh, columns i'm going to go with 12 columns in this instance i'm going to start adding some uh, margin just to be sure that you know everything is uh, well aligned and you know it's going to be working uh, well in uh, this uh, um, in the ground picture all right so far so good and uh, now let's start adding uh, some uh, breadcrumbs below so I'm going to select this search element bring it right here make the text uh, a bit towards dark blue so around these lines I'm going to write a few. So actually, let's go like this. And then we're going to write glasses. And uh, here we go. find an arrow and this one would work just fine let's frame it bring it here make it just a little bit smaller and here we go we have our breadcrumbs and I'm going to add uh, a rectangle below which is going to be completely white uh, and uh, this is going to serve us uh, as the base uh, and uh, we're going to essentially uh, change the color of this other one to be just a little bit heading towards the gray but not too much now let's start uh, adding the different uh, elements. So we're going to have uh, a menu right here, and then the main section right uh, over here. So let's round up all of these, and we're going to essentially have uh, white uh, and then some drop shadow here. which again is going to be quite light and then we're going to basically mimic uh, this uh, on uh, this other section right here now let's start adding the different text elements up and above so it's going to be categories let's duplicate it and the categories is going to be a bit bigger make it quite dark and let's start writing the different type of categories which you might want to have and check out over here let's also add the divider line in between <coughs> and uh, And here we go. All right. Let's duplicate this a few times. Let's 
let's write over here computers for example smart home arts and crafts and then maybe a uh, view all Let's select all of these. I'm going to make it medium. Same for this one. And we can see also here the filters. And these are going to be by price. Okay, let's ungroup this. I'm going to <coughs> basically copy that line over there. Bring it right here. I'm going to make it just a bit bigger in width. Let's add the novel. And uh, yeah, let's make uh, both of these uh, um, just completely black. And same for this one right here. Cool. one's going to be $50 on the other end of the spectrum we're going to have $5,000 perfect let's also add a rating <coughs> this is obviously going to have a D different star rating Go ahead and write star. Let's find a nice, uh, a nice star which we can leverage. Um, maybe this one here. I'm going to make it black. And let's copy it just a few times. I'm going to lock this, make these stars just a little bit smaller. And let's duplicate this just a few times so we can have the different options for how many stars. Okay, so let's go. Let's just duplicate this a few times before. Cool. Let's select all of this and all of this. Let's group it together. Let's just switch it. Perfect. So we have our base for this uh, um, for this dashboard. Let's duplicate this. Let's make this one just a little bit lighter. Now we're going to add some uh, uh, different tags. So actually very similar to the to the button. You can just duplicate the button and make all of this dark. So we're going to have a full stroke. 
over here. Let's make this one an auto layout so it's going to be easier to change all of these elements. So let's go over here. Let's write best seller. Let's go ahead and let's uh, change this one up to popular. Let's go ahead and let's change this one to new. Let's select over here, special edition. And then we're going to have uh, the classic high price. And low price. Let's change this one to white. We're going to have uh, the fill to dark. And uh, here we go. All right, at this point, we're simply going to go ahead and create uh, um, a few different uh, um, elements, which are going to contain uh, some basic tags. And also the pricing. Then we're going to add uh, a simple oval, which we're going to basically create uh, by rounding all of this up. Let's make this uh, green, maybe a little bit darker. going to add B plus. Uh, okay, <laughs> for whatever reason that didn't work. Let's try again with another one. Yep. Here we go. And let's make it quite a bit smaller, <coughs> and a stroke of two. All right, also going to grab one of these guys, make it like quite smaller, and uh, write uh, 50% on this one, and just make it, yeah, just make it very smaller. <laughs> delete the stroke. Let's add a color, such as this one here, more towards a red, I would say. Um, actually, something like this. And that'll work. 50%. Need to bring this one up. I'm just going to remove the auto layout and just bring it manually. And here we go. Now I need to hop on a client call, of course. <clears throat> but you definitely get the general gist of it. Um, afterwards, I'm going to add uh, the, um, all of the icons and all of the elements, but basically from here, I'm just going to duplicate this guy uh, a few times so we can have uh, the original um, store selection in place. 
And then, uh, um, yeah, just duplicate and uh, change the images, which you can do here from the fill, change it to image. And then we're going to add uh, the actual image of uh, the glasses. So this is pretty much it. Um, sorry for cutting out this very last part. I'm just going to Google some uh, or find on an e-commerce some glasses images and just uh, copy them uh, using Command C when I find them, co Command V. You can also just drag them to the desktop and basically uh, do this uh, uh, for all of these and uh, just uh, change up the, the cropping section in order to crop them perfectly. So this is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the very next one.